boy. Now we got to chase after Roland. What's up, everyone? My name is Megazo, and we had to head to the top of this dam to save Roland because he got kidnapped again. This time, though, by Handsome Jack, so you can't really say anything because this guy's the leader of a mega million dollar corporation that spans across the galaxy. So, yeah, can't really, can't really truly really get upset at him for that much, can I? I can, but the dude's got reach. He ain't well, got. Oh. oh man, it's like an all out war here. Stop this damn thing! Hey man, I'm trying! That boss taking Roland to the drop barge. Stop them before they go on! I'm trying to save him. Please tell me Jack didn't send Wilhelm. I don't think he did. Who's Wilhelm? Well, I do know who Wilhelm is because I played the pre sequel! At least a tiny bit of it. I'm going to sell that, 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 and that. I should have sold that. I'll need that. I will need this. Just for a little bit. Because, uh, well, we're going to. Hyperion robots are, like Marcus said, weak to corrosive damage. <laughs> Good luck. This is what happens when I need a freaking uh I sneeze and it hurts. And the sneeze even though I'm recording today, this noise is gonna spread at me and probably freaking egg. But yeah, this is technically a gauntlet race, this right here. You need to hurry up and get to Roland and the field boss as quickly as you possibly can. So, what I usually tend to do is I tend to take out most of the enemies, even though that's a really dumb idea. I take out most of the enemies pretty quickly. I try to go for as many headshots as possible. Uh -oh. oh, this guy's an idiot. This guy truly is an idiot. That's dumb. What? Oh wow, they got him down. Wow, so we don't even get to fight him. I was kind of disappointed in my first fight. They were like, what, we don't even get to fight this guy? I was like, the guy who that one? No, he's getting taken off screen by just some random schmuck Hyperion. But also it is kind of interesting. It's like, oh yeah, these Hyperion bots. It kind of sells the idea that Hyperion bots are really strong. And in competition instead. But it's also kind of funny. Uh, but yeah, you do something like that, it'll get rid of most of the enemies. Anyway, so you can't go across the main gate, so you want to go across this way. But we're going to pack this open so we can get more grenades, so we can blow up more people that try to stupidly uh, fight us. Robots! Oh wow, this guy just fucking smacked the bandit off. Go away! <laughs> oh hi, guy! Nope. Oh, I, I actually see we have quite a few stacks of, uh, freaking anarchy, and I need a lot. Like, what you trying to do? We got over 100. Usually that's, usually, that's getting some really high damage territory, if I'm being honest. Like, most of the time, that'll take out most enemies pretty easily. It's a point to get stepped up there. Haha. Haha. Take care of the death trap. I really don't care. So, like, here's the point. It's like, well, here's the thing. You will start losing energy. Crap. Oh crap. Man, this thing's just walking. No, no! Frank! I should I should have cared. I should have cared more. <laughs> I should have cared a lot more. I need to turn my volume up here for me. Oh freak it does these. <laughs> there, finally though. It actually came out pretty quickly. I'm gonna buff my stats because I need more anarchy. More! 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 
Oh. Oh, that. Oh, great. Now my nose is completely, like, air-filled. That actually hurts more. You go either this way or that way. Uh, let's take the top part, because we can probably snipe away the, the badass loader's part. Or we can go for critical. Oh, yeah. And he can send out missiles! Oh, crap. I didn't even notice that. Hey, leave me alone. Stop the anarchy. Stop the anarchy. Yeah, crap, let's go. Come on, take out the bass. Oh wow, did you take out that trap already? No. I mean, I have deja vu. I am the biggest case of deja vu, oh my gosh. I guess not, but I get days off a lot. It's annoying. I don't like dealing with it. It is. It makes certain things feel weird, and it makes other things feel very uncomfortable. So now it's like, oh, dreams and all that. Like, which ones are real? Which ones are fake? Which should I pay attention to? Stuff like that. It gets annoying and it bugs the crap out of me. But it can also be somewhat helpful. I'm also on the guard for like a lot more crap, but it doesn't mean I have to like it. Anyways, bloodshot! Give me back rolling! Oh, my period, give me back rolling. Oh come on, he jumped all the way up there, so I ain't gonna deal with him. Just go run. Why are the freaking why are they coming out of the bandit right here? Bandit place, the bandit huts. Bandit houses, whatever. Bam! Oh crap. Okay. Come on! There we go! I know the using shotgun's not good at all. Okay. Oh crap. I, I can crap you. Right there. There we go. Ugh. Let's go. Okay, we're good there. Mostly. Man, these guys are just like... Man, it's like... His blood just got slaughtered by him here, which I guess makes sense. Again, multi-million mega dollar corporation. Like, why do I think it's not really personal? that they were able to pull up any fight. Oh gosh. Okay. Dog. Oh. There we go. Come on, stop it. Aha! Well, I know I'm not I'm supposed to not waste my time on these guys, but they take me off. you guys, doesn't it? Oh, uh, this is for a third one. That doesn't matter. Okay, I need some grenades, like, soon. I actually do need some grenades, because if I don't get some grenades, I'm actually going to have some trouble with this boss coming up. Like, I need some, and I'm not going to run all the way back to the beginning just to get some, still. Alright! Get to the warden. Okay, first off, we need to switch up our grenade type. We're gonna switch it from this to the corrosive one, and we're gonna set up Death Trap right away. What we need to do is that we need to bring up the warden shields. And with Death Trap here, it's actually gonna be pretty easy. Because it's just going to... It's just gonna keep shooting you with shotgun. So we're gonna do from the explosive grenade and do that some explosive damage on the ground Oh uh, no! Friggin' A! Okay, there we go. Okay, it's a good thing here because around here, uh, 
most there will be some chests here that you can just use. Oh, gosh, dang it. Okay, blow it up. What? Okay, they got some for us damage. So we don't have to worry about it. Let's go. Let's go. There we go. Took out him. So now we got to worry about all the freaking Jack bots that Jack is going to send here. The loader bots that Jack is going to send. Because guess what? So you, you actually can fail the ro saving roll of thing. Because then you'll get sent to an optional area that I believe is much, much worse. Because it's actually way more difficult to deal with it. Ah, oh, crap. Got a turret. Bam. Blow him up with that. Heck yeah. Ah, right away. Uh, but yeah, I think the chests are supposed to also constantly like respawn themselves. I could be wrong. Anyways, there's a uh, tribute to Marcus here. The heck is up with that? Uh, grab all this extra stuff. Can I? Come on. Oh, okay, well, then. Sorry about abandoning you. <laughs> You gotta destroy- oh crap, wrong way. <laughs> you gotta destroy the lawyer. lawyers. Loaders. Because you- after a while, they'll just leave eventually. HECK YEAH! You know there's a loader here, still shooting out rolling. He'll just like, alright, time to leave. Alright, talk to him, and we complete the quest. HECK YEAH! First try, let's go. You read a damn fine rescue. You rescue roll from your troops. Now it's time for the customer. Thank you, rescue me from those bad guys. Now let's talk about how we're gonna put a bullet in Jack's face conversation back in. Thanks. Yeah. I'd be dead if it weren't for you. I owe you one, soldier. Meet me no back in sanctuary. I got a plan to stop Jack, but it won't work without you. Why? You saved Roland. This planet's been waiting for a hero like you. Goodness, Jack didn't send Wilhelm. Yeah, well, I'll show off like the uh, optional area afterwards because, like I said, it's completely optional. But, um, what you want to do is head back to Sanctuary now. Ugh, I was actually going to be afraid if we failed that because, again, I'll show off the optional area you have to go to if, if you fail to save Roland. It's completely utterly optional, again, unless you fail to save him. But what we're going to do is that we're going to turn in a bunch of the side quests that, that we completed. As you can see, we got quite a few around Sanctuary that we need to turn in. So, turn in this one about the assassin. I'll take this. Oh, my phone went off. What we also need to do, I think, is talk to Zed. Why? Thanks. And now for the latest edition of This Just In with Hunter Hellquist. A warning to Pandora. The bandit leader known as Roland has escaped from Hyperion custody. Hide your loved ones, store your belongings, and buy the biggest Hyperion gun you can find. Roland has been recorded as missing since the liberation of New Haven. He is to be considered dangerous and very, very, very armed. Huh. Anyways, yeah, the propaganda that will show up from time to time. Talk to Zed. Oh, right. I was supposed to be studying the effects of these E-Tech guns on bandits. Right now, it looks like, uh, looks like if you shoot them a lot, they die oh did i mention i don't have a medical license yes yes you did why do you ha have a medical license friggin a Jack's not coming here. okay let's look for what are some other quests that we have there's a few love access what that's a lie but sure hell doesn't need to know that name game oh uh, yeah the bully monk thing which they're called pheromores now so Let's uh, hurry up and do that. 
Alright, let's see who else has a quest going on for him. I think it's just Hammerlock still. Alright, let's go to Hammerlock to see if he had anything. Greetings! Do you feel you have too many bullets, but not enough money? Well, anyways, let's talk about that. Have you heard of these insect things called varkins? Yeah. The buggers, that's a fun, you see, will uh. work if they take enough damage. Could you take this evolutionary injector, please? Why? Lovely. I'd like you to force a few varkins into Mormon. While they're in their cocoon state, hit them with the injector. Okay. So, yeah, that's gonna be fun. Anyways, you can he play here with these, uh, slot machines. I'll show it off. I wouldn't recommend doing it a whole bunch. They're not really fun. But you get stuff like this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna sell off some uh, some of the guns we have and then I'll take a few more quests and then we'll end the episode. I know it's a little short one, but all we really had to do was save Roland. Okay, so sell. Uh, we'll sell this, that, uh, this, that, this, that, 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 and this. I forgot to put on my new shield, so I'll put that on. Okay, there we go. So, if we go here... We Lilith and the freaking quest, the freaking cutscene that I forgot to load. Talk to Lilith and she'll actually give us a quest with you. The special has it all. Violence and pizza. A group of mutant test subjects escaped the Hyperion Preserve. As amusing as it might be to see them attempt to reintegrate into society, they must be put down. Wait, what? You will need a way to lure them out. Head to Moxie's and acquire some bait I have ordered. Okay. Splinter group. Uh, just take notice of that. Pizza, Splinter. <laughs> oh, frig the nose again. Gosh dang it! <laughs> there we go. Anyways, though, head over here. How the hell did those bandits snag you? Oh, I was taking a leak. One of them knocked me out. Really? Wow. Really? You are a dumbass. Yeah, I, uh. Good lord, Roland, why? I was joking, dude. I'm happy to see you. Oh. Thanks. This is where you say you're happy to see me, too? Oh, uh, right. This is awkward. It's good to see you. Smooth. Hey, I need to talk to Roland. Jack is going to kill us all unless you can stop him. He means hi. That's his way of saying hi. Yeah. Right. Sorry. Hi. But I'll be honest, soldier. <laughs> We're losing this war. We've been trying to stop Jack for years, taking out his men, raiding his iridium mines, but it hasn't been enough. But you, you met Jack and lived. No, we didn't! Why is everyone misinterpreting this? We didn't meet Jack. Thanks. He was on an explosive train. We're gonna survive this uh, weird journey. Whatever. Hunter. Now, we thought Jack wanted to open a vault and use its power to wipe us off Pandora. But thanks to some intel I stole from a Hyperion convoy, I found out we were wrong. Wait, what? What? He's not gonna open a vault. He's going to control it. Okay. I'll just go ahead and repeat myself. What? <laughs> the vault Jack's looking for isn't an alien prison or a cache of weapons. It's a living thing. An ancient Iridian warrior, powerful enough to destroy all life on Pandora. How? No, no never mind. It's a gets to warrior built by Iridian. That sounds bad. If Jack wins the warrior, yeah. But if we control the warrior first, he uses it to wipe out Harry. Use it to wipe Hyperion. Hyperion off the map. All right, I'm liking this plan. That's a stupid plan. There's a problem. We need the vault key to work the warrior, and Jack's already got it. But if you've spoken to Tennis, which I have, she didn't vomit when she saw you, did she? She does that sometimes. She might have told you the key needs to be charged with iridium. We're racing against time. Every ounce of that stuff that Jack mines from the ground puts him closer to taking control of that warrior uh -oh. and wiping us out. We gotta get our hands on that vault key. Now, if anybody knows where that key's being kept, it's my spy out in Tundra Express. He's as good at gathering intel as he is at drinking. Uh, so I'm sure he's sleeping off last night's booze right now. You'll need to get a fire weapon to wake him up. I'll explain when you get out there. Neat. But, uh, let me talk to Lith, because she has some side quests for me. Some stuff? Sure, why not? 
Cult following. Eternal Flame. So, what if I accidentally started a cult? How do you accidentally start a cult? I don't well, freaking know. Marcus, my so, I kind of inspired a cult. How? Yeah, not the fun, ask you for autographs kind. I need you to infiltrate the children of the Firehawk and find out if they're planning anything shady. I'd do it myself, but I'm kind of worried they'd freak out if they saw their god in person. True. Go talk to the cult's leader, Incinerator Clayton. Cool, but I also need hey, to see your I other quest. I got a job for you. Yeah, I need. Give me the other quests. Well, it's alive, but my parents sure as hell doesn't need to know that. Ever faked your own death? No. Tricky stuff. Did it a couple years back to throw Hyperion off my trail, but apparently some bandit's been spying on me. He's gonna tell Hyperion what he knows, unless you take him out first. Cool. Uh, assassinate the, uh, spy. Neat. Well, we're gonna go pick up the pizza from Oxy's, and then that'll be the end of this episode. I know, relatively short, but, again, the main focus was saving Roland for, like, the last few episodes, even though I went off and did some side questing. So, I need to must be pizza here. All right. Good. The escapees, for whatever reason, find pizza irresistible. You will lure them out with this pizza, then murder them. Yeah, I agree. Okay, so with that, that'll be the end of this episode, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Omega Zero. The next time you see me, we will uh, continue on through with. Uh, playthrough for Borderlands 2 and complete some more quests in addition to finding out how to stop Jack and by going to the Thunder Express. I will catch you all later.